By show of hands, who here thinks we have free will? Thank you. By show of hands, who here thinks we do not have free will? Thank you. I have been fascinated by the subject of free will since I was a teenager. There are very convincing arguments for it and against it, but there has never been an argument that hasn't in some way contradicted itself. Thinking about free will always leads to paradoxes. The first problem is that there isn't a definition of free will that is agreed upon by everyone. For the purposes of this talk, I'm going to define free will as our ability to make our own decisions. I'll start off by presenting arguments against free will, then for it, and I'll finish with a conclusion that I think best fits the facts as we move on. And of course, I will contradict myself. <laughs> <laughs> if we could know the position of every particle in the universe, using the laws of physics, we could then predict the future with absolute certainty. We could also go backwards and know the past. We are caught up in a chain of events that were put into motion ever since the Big Bang occurred. Everything in the universe is the result of prior causes and effects. Therefore, everything I do and you do is the result of prior causes and effects. This is the argument known as determinism. From this perspective, our lives are like movies. The script has already been written, and we are just watching everything unfold. In the 1970s, an experiment was done. People in labs were asked to push a button, but before they pushed it, they were told to tell the scientists when they became aware of their choice to do so. What they found was that the decision had already been made about half a second beforehand by their subconscious. Over the last few decades, neuroscientists and the media have spent a lot of time focusing on the things we have no control over. Uh, a lot of the theories that are popular at the moment are free focus on the failings and the shortcomings of humans. However, to build a complete theory, you also need to focus on what humans do really well. When you're going on holiday, if someone was to stop you at the airport and ask you why you were there, you would have an answer. You should have an answer. Uh, this is an example of what humans do really well planning something and then acting in ways to achieve it. There has been a chain of events. You had an initial thought about going on holiday, which then led to your behaviors, which led you to the airport. <coughs> this is exactly why we want to live in a deterministic universe. It's only in a deterministic universe can there be a chain of events that has a cause and effect. So in that way, our thoughts can affect our behaviors. In a non-deterministic universe, our thoughts could never influence our lives, since there wouldn't be a chain of cause and effect. In another experiment, uh, people were asked to do a test. Um, they were split into two groups. One group was told they had free will, the other group was told they didn't have free will. There was a financial reward for the high scores on the test. What they found was that the people who had been told they didn't have free will, the majority of people in that group cheated. They swapped answers with each other um, just to get the financial reward. <coughs> the group was told that they did have free will. The majority of them didn't cheat. They lost out on the financial reward. This is a very powerful example of how uh, our beliefs can affect our behaviors. It seems to suggest that not believing in free will leads to a higher chance of uh, behaving immorally. In another study, criminals that had been rehabilitated, um, their language patterns were analyzed. <coughs> what they found was that criminals that stopped offending, they started speaking as though they had more, uh, more of a sense of responsibility. They were using words that gave them more control over their lives. This is how I see free will. 
that exists on a scale. Different people have different degrees of freedom. When we're born, we have very little of it, or none at all. However, with the right beliefs and the cultivation of the right skills, planning, discipline, self-awareness, we can shift along the scale towards more free will. To be free is to maximize the type of control we do have, and any belief that we have no control becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Nietzsche, the famous philosopher, thought that free will was a rare achievement. I'm inclined to agree. Free will is not something we're born with, but something we should strive for. Thank you.